tonight's game, it'll be the Ricari Spartans with an overall record of 19 and three. Going up against the Sock Rapids Storm with an overall record of nine and 14 on the season. Ricori paced at Sock Rapids earlier in the season. Final score of 71-42. 29-point victory for the Spartans. Coach Brink would be awful happy to get out of here with a big victory tonight. Ricori in a, in a two-game losing streak, losing its last two ball games of the season to Brainerd and Wilmer. This is the start of the tournament. It's the first game tonight. Wilmer, the winner will go on to meet either Wilmer or Sartell on Saturday at Hallenbeck Hall. And now our national anthem. the game between the Sock Rapids Storm and the Ricari Spartans. We will be getting on with the starting lineups here, alternating. For Sock Rapids, six foot senior number 22, Mitch Lee. For Ricori, six foot senior number 10, Eric Schmitz. For the Storm, five foot 10 junior, number 42, Brian Hinkle. For Ricori, six foot senior number 24, Kenny Downtown Meyer. 6'5", senior for Sock Rapids, number 34, Jeff Martinson. For Ricari, 6'5", junior, number 54, Jason Crone. For Sock Rapids, number 40, Dan Reganick. For Ricari, number 12, 6'4", senior, Dan Hondel. For Sock Rapids, number 50, 6'3", sophomore, Noah Venice. And for Ricari, 6'7", junior, number 42, Mike Van Neville. The head coach for Sock Rapids is Eric Martins. The Spartans are coached by Bob Brink, assisted by Matt Hibison. Getting set for this evening's ball game. Dana Schmitz on the camera. I'm Dickie V. I'll be bringing it to you from Ricori High. Both teams in the huddles getting the last minute instructions before the tip off. Ricori having lost its last two games against Brainerd and Wilmer, having a hard time against the zone. I would imagine Sock Rapids will come out in the zone and stay in the zone most of the game. It has given Ricori some problems the last two outings. Coach Brink putting a lot of effort in practice this week trying to break the zone. A lot of penetration you need with the guards to get in against the zone. 
jump ball. It's going to go over to Ricori. On the side. Last home game of the year for the seniors. Last time on their home court. Danny Hondel has the ball inside. Almost taken away to Krohn. Sock Rapids opens in a man. Down under to Krohn. Nice pass to Van Neville. Mike kicks it back out to Schmitz. Nice movement. Kenny for the trifecta. No good. Rebound down to Martinson in the storm. Mitch Lee with the ball for Sock Rapids. Over to Regignick. Regignick. Back to Lee to Martinson. Martinson for three, puts it up, no good, rebound, Van Neville. Here come the Spartans, Schmitz with the ball. Over to Krohn, down to Honda. We're gonna have a foul called on number 40. Dan Regignick. Meyer over to Schmitz, back to Kenny. Kenny looks, finds Danny on the baseline, out to Krohn. Top of the key, back to Schmitz. Sock Rapids in a man-to-man -man defense. Krohn with the ball, nice turnaround from 10, puts it up, no good. Little long, rebound, comes down to Venice. Mitch Lee with the ball, drives in. Kicks it to number 42, Henkel. No good. Block. Back out to Martinson for three. Puts it up. No good. Rebound. Down to Eric Schmitz. To Dan Handel. Back to Schmitty at the point. 6.20 remain here in the opening quarter. No score. Just underway. Meyer with the ball. To Handel. Puts it up. No good. Rebound. Down to Martinson. Lee with the ball, Lee drives in, in traffic and loses it out of bounds. Off Ricori player gonna remain Sock Rapids ball. Some fans not happy with the call. Martinson to inbound. Mitch Lee drives in, in the paint, puts it up, blocked by Van Neville. Nice block by Mike Van Neville. Foul is going to be called on Eric Schmitz. That'll be Schmitty's first, team first. It's going to send Mitch Lee to the line to shoot two. First one by Lee is up and no good. Lee hits the second free throw for an early 1-0 Sock Rapids lead. Here come the Spartans back. Ken Meyer over to Schmitty. <laughs> Seniors last game this evening, Danny Handel, Kenny Meyer, Eric Schmitz, Ethan Hash, Eddie Scher, Brian Dingman, Jim Willenbring. Their last games here tonight at the Ricori Gym. Hopefully they'll have about six more to go yet throughout the year. Six more games would be nice. Meyer with the ball, back up. Schmitz with the ball inside, taken away, Martinson. Overplaying the passing lane, creates the turnover. Sock Rapids with the ball. 4.43 remain here in the first. Ricori unable to score. Lee with the ball. Finds Martinson inside. Martinson, nice pass in the paint. Scores, it's three nothing. Sock Rapids. Press put on by Sock Rapids. Dan Hondel drives in, Dow puts it up to Van Neville. 
Van Neville puts it up and in and scores. Foul is going to be called on number 34, Martinson. That is his first and team second. Going to send Van Neville to the line to complete the three-point play. Ryan Mathry into the game, replacing Kenny Downtown Meyer. Mike misses the free throw. Sark, or Sock Rapids holding the slim 3-2 lead here. Martinson with the ball, guarded by Handel. Puts it up from 10, no good, off balance shot, rebound down to Van Neville, to Crone. Crone down to Mathry, Mathry on the far side, guarded by Mitchley, kicks it out to Schmidt. Dan Handel to Van Neville, Van Neville squares up, drives in, puts it up. No, he's going to be called for the travel. Mike Van Neville called for the traveling. Jeff Donnie, the junior, comes in to replace Van Neville. <laughs> Number 44, Kyle Rail into the game for Sock Rapids. And number 54, Matt Scheffler. Mitch Lee with the ball over to Scheffler. Back to Lee. Lee drives against Schmitz. Kicks it off to Rail. Rail drive, puts it up from 10. No go. It hits the side of the backboard. In traffic, in the paint. It gets tied up. Ball is loose on the floor. Comes back to Sock Rapids. Mitch Lee with the ball. Guarded by Rick Schmitz. Down to Martinson on the baseline. Martinson looking inside, bounce pass to Scheffler. Scheffler turns around, hits the eight-footer against Jason Krohn, and there's a foul called on number 54, Jason Krohn. That is his first. Scheffler to go to the line to complete the three-point play. Scheffler completes the three-point play. It's a 6-2 Sock Rapids lead. Have an over and back call. Called on Ryan Mathry. Pressure applied. And Ricori wants to talk it over. 306 remain here in the first. Sock Rapids six. Ricori two. basketball fans out there the winner of tonight's game will meet the winner of the Wilmer Sartell game they are also playing tonight at Wilmer hopefully Ricori will take on the winner of Wilmer or Sartell and that will be this Saturday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon at St. Cloud State Hallenbeck Hall Ricori needing three straight wins here to advance to the state tournament. They look sluggish here from the outset. 6-2, Sock Rapids lead. Mitch Lee with the ball. Over to Martinson. Martinson looking inside. Henkel with the ball. Over to Lee. Lee drives against Meyer. Puts it up in traffic. Blocked. Puts it up again, rebound. Jump ball called out on the floor between Scheffler and Crone. Possession arrow favoring the Storm. Sock Rapids will inbound underneath their basket. Martinson to inbound. Finds Regignick to Lee. Alley-oop to Martinson, nice. Nice alley-oop from 
Mitch Lee down to Jeff Martinson. Sock Rapids with an 8-2 lead. Half-court trap applied. Turnover by Ricori. Ricori looking sluggish once again in the early going of the game. Mitch Lee with the ball. Underneath. Ball comes out, loose ball. Puts it up, number 42, Hankel heading. 11-2 lead. Sock Rapids by nine. Crone with the ball, going in, picks it in, and scores. What a time for a basket. Needed a basket, we got one right there. Big possession for Ricori. Crone scoring. Foul on the play on number 54, Scheffler. That is his first. Team third going to send Crone to the line to complete the three-point play. It's up and in. Jeff Donnay into the ballgame for Ricori, replacing Jason Krohn. Have Meyer, Schmitz, Donnay, Van Neville, and Handel in the 1 3 1 zone. Kenny on top of the zone. Over to Martinson. Martinson looking back to Lee. Over to number 40, Regic. Regic, Nick, he puts it up. No good. Blocked out of bounds. Ball comes back to Sock Rapids. Martinson to inbound. Finds Regenick. Back to number 42, Hankel. Hankel hits the three. 14-5, Sock Rapids. Sock Rapids in the 3-2 zone. Schmitz to Meyer. Down to Handel. Unable to get the ball inside is Meyer back to Handel for three. Danny puts it up and in. Big basket by Dan Handel, 14-8, Sock Rapids. One minute remain here in the quarter. Sock Rapids to be patient, probably to go for a last shot if they can hold the ball for 45 seconds here. Martinson with the ball. We'll play catch out front. Down to Scheffler. Tipped away by Dan Handel and out of bounds. <laughs> Sartell will inbound 37 seconds remain here in the first quarter. <laughs> Venice back into the game for the Storm. Martinson finds Venice, the sophomore, guarded by Don Aid to Mitch Lee. Back to Venice, back to Lee. Playing catch out front, 23 seconds remain here in the quarter. Hinkle with the ball, drives, we're gonna have a foul called. Away from the ball, number 40. Ball is on Rednick. That is his second, team fourth, Ricori's ball. We're down to eight seconds left in the quarter. Schmitz with the ball, making the move. Danny gets a screen from Handel, puts it out to Van Neville. Van Neville. He's going to drive on the buzzer, puts it up, and no good. Wild first quarter here from Ricori High School. Sock Rapids with a very interesting 14-8 lead after one.
Kakura Corey High School here to start the second quarter of action. Rakori to inbound on the near side. I'm Dickie V to bring you the second quarter here from Rakori. Jason to inbound to Eric Schmitz. Sock Rapids in the zone. Inside, Dan Handel doubled up back to Schmitz underneath to Crohn. Jason turnaround, he's gonna be called for traveling. Jason taking the step underneath, gets caught for traveling. Have an official's time out here. found a piece of gum stuck to the floor out there with a scissors getting the piece of gum off the floor back to play here Martinson to inbound Sock Rapids with a six-point lead at 14-8 Lee guarded by Meyer over to number 42 is Brian Henkel ball hit out of bounds Lee with the ball over to Henkel. Back to Lee. Guarded by Meyer. Lee takes him inside, kicks it off to Venice. Venice on the baseline, guarded by Krohn. Back out to Mitch Lee. Underneath to Reginick. He puts it up, no good, rims out. Rebound down to Krohn. Jason losing the ball. Out of bounds. Ball just gets away from Jason out of bounds. Turnover with Corey. Sock Rapids to inbound with a 14-8 lead. Henkel with the ball over to Lee. Guarded by Handel. Back to Henkel. Down to Martinson on the far baseline. Back out to Henkel. Back to Martinson. Martinson. Turnover possibly here on the floor. We got a tie up. Possession arrow favoring. The Storm. Mathry back into the ball game for Ricori replacing Meyer. Mathry guarding Mitch Lee. Over to number 42 is Brian Henkel, 5'10", junior. Lee drives in, kicks it off to Venice underneath. Venice in traffic. Gonna have a jump ball called. Gets tied up with Crone. Possession arrow favoring the Spartans. Here comes Ricori. Come on, guys, we're gonna need some points here. Sock Rapids in the 3-2 zone. Don't wanna let Ricori get that ball inside. They get her inside to Handel. Handel puts it up. He's a little short inside. Traveling called against Sock Rapids. Turnover. Ball's going to come back to the Spartans. Crone to inbound to Schmitz. Back to Jason. Inside to Handel. Handel turns around. We're going to have a foul call on number 50, Noah Venice. 6'3 sophomore. Gets Jason with the body. That is his second. That's his first ball, team fifth. Crone to inbound to Schmitz. Eric with the ball, penetrates, kicks it out to Mathry. Mathry back to Schmitz. To Crone for three, puts it up. No good, it's short. Jason trying to get his own rebound, doesn't. Mitch Lee with the ball, we got a two on one. Martinson underneath, yes! 16-8. Sock Rapids has doubled up on Ricori with a 16-8 lead. Down to Crone to Handel. Cross court to Mathry for three. 
He hits it. Ryan Mathry with a big three-pointer here from beyond the arc to bring the Spartans within five at 16 to 11. Venice with the ball. Fans are chanting defense, defense. We want this one. Back out, Hankel from way downtown. No good, it's gonna rim out. Jason losing the ball. Off his hands and out of bounds once again. Ken Meyer back into the ball game, replacing Schmidt. Scheffler back in for the Storm. Martinson to inbound. Trying to spot somebody. Finds Lee in the backcourt. 5-13 remain here in the second quarter. <laughs> Henkel with the ball over to Lee, to Martinson. Martinson back to Mitch Lee. Martinson cranks her up and hits it. Hits the three, Jeff Martinson. Sock Rapids not giving up here whatsoever. Kenny Meyer comes back, puts it up against the glass. No good, rebound comes down to the storm. Henkel comes in, drives in, puts it up and in. 10 point lead here by Sock Rapids. Ricori wants to pack it over. Corey fans are just stunned, absolutely silent here. Sock Rapids with a amazing 10 point lead against Ricori, ranked number four in the state. loser of this game is finished for the year while the winner will go on to play either Wilmer or Sartell Saturday at Hallenbeck Hall. Meyer for three, get in there, yes! Kenny on fire, downtown Meyer, 21-14. Big possession for Ricori. Henkel with the ball for the Storm cross court to Martinson. Back to Mitch Lee, four minutes remain in the second. Down to Henkel, the Scheffler on the baseline, inside to Venice, back out to Lee. Lee drives back to Venice, nice move. Venice puts it up, no good. Rebound down to Crone. Meyer for the trifecta, no good, it's short. Or goes out a little long, excuse me. with the ball inside to Venice. Venice guarded by Van Neville. Nice move by Venice. The sophomore puts it up and in. Sock Rapids looking like a different team that was here, played here earlier in the year at Ricori. Ricori coming out on that with a 71-42 victory. Mike Van Neville comes back, scoring inside. He's fouled by number 42. That's Henkel. It's going to send Mike to the line to complete the three-point play. Don A into the ball game, replacing Dan Hondel. Van Neville to shoot one, puts it up, it's no good. Comes out, rebound down to the 
Sock Rapids Storm, Jeff Martinson, their best ball player with the basketball, Bart, guarded by Crone. Over to number 14, a new player, Jeremiah Peepcorn, Pipecorn into the game for Sock Rapids. Martinson with the ball. Screen put on, gets the shot, puts it up, no good. Rebound, Jeff Donnie. Nice board by Donnie over to Ryan Mathry. Back out to Jason. Jason at the point, they double up on him underneath. Nice pass, down to Mike Van Neville. Mike Van Neville looking pretty good here. Spartan Strat trying to pick it up here. Coach Brink on his feet says, come on guys, let's go, let's get some fire in you. 23-18. Sock Rapids. Sock Rapids by five. Lee putting up a three-pointer. <laughs> 26-18. Mathry back to Crone. Ricori unbeaten at home this year. Van Neville is going to make a call for traveling. Couple stutter steps in there by Mike with the ball. The official saw it. Turnover to Corey. Comes back to Sock Rapids. Mitch Lee with the ball, guarded by Ryan Mathry, the junior. Inside to Regignick, back to Lee. To Martinson. Martinson back to Lee. Lee fakes the three pointer, goes in traffic, picks up. Regignick gets and scores. Foul is called. Dan Reginick at the line. To complete the three-point play, Sock Rapids with a commanding 10-point lead. 118 remain in the half. Dan Honda with a big board for the Spartans. Over to Schmitz, almost loses it. Ricori has one half of basketball here to pick it up, or they will be done for the season. We're not even looking at that right now. Ricori needs to pick, pick up the pace here. Sock Rapids playing good basketball here this evening at Ricori. Jeff Donne puts it up and in. He's scoring, scores first free throw. 28-19. Second one is no good. Rebound down to Cohen. Tied up. Official calls it. Jump ball. Possession arrow favoring Sock Rapids. 103 remain here in the first half. Sock Rapids by nine. Henkel with the ball. Martinson with the ball, guarded by Crone. Over to Henkel. Henkel guarded by Schmitz. 35 seconds remain. Into Martinson. To Henkel for the bomb. No good. Rebound down to Crone. Jason losing it again. Regine, no good. Blocked by Crone. Travel called. <laughs> Jason Crone having a hard time holding on to the ball tonight. Unbelievable game here from Ricori. Schmitz with the ball. 
Ricori must be patient here, look for a good shot. Danny Hondel for three, yes! 28-22, Sock Rapids by six, Ricori comes back. Martinson for three, no good, it's short at the buzzer. Hopefully that momentum will carry the Spartans into the locker room as we go into the half. We're at the half, it's Sock Rapids 28, your Ricori Spartans 22. Halftime entertainment this evening. It'll be the Ricori Drumline here to perform at halftime. They will be setting up, and it'll be a minute or two before we get going with the Ricori Drumline. So sit back and enjoy the halftime Drumline show.
Back at Recori High School here to start the second half of the basketball game. Sock Rapids holding a six point lead over Recori at 28 22. A lot of fans in shock this evening with the play of Sock Rapids. They look pretty good. Hitting some three pointers in the first half. Set, start the second half. We got Hondo with the ball inside in the paint, puts it up and in. Mm -hmm. Danny Hondo with a big basket to start the half. Ricori applying some pressure in the backcourt. Henkel with the ball. Over to Lee. Henkel over the 10 second line, back to Mitch Lee. Ricori in a 2 3 zone to start the second half here. Henkel with the ball. Inside to Martinson, turns around, puts it up, no good. Tapped around, rebound comes down to Kenny Meyer. Down to Krohn, looks like Ricori's gonna pick, pick it up here the second half. Looks like they got some momentum going. Down to Hondel, back out to Krohn. Krohn drives in the lane, kicks it out to Schmitz. Back down to Hondel on the baseline. Into Krohn inside, Jason's gonna take it to the hoop, puts it up, no good, rebound down to Henkel. Mitch Lee with the ball, guarded by Schmitz. Lee with the ball, guarded by Schmitz to Martinson. Inside to Venice, Venice turns around, spin move, puts it up, no good. Foul is gonna be called on number 40. Reginick. Reginick, and that is his third personal. Here come the Spartans. Crone with the ball down to Hondo. Hondo's going to take him to the hole. Nice pass to Van Neville and in. That's Ricori basketball right there. Lee with the ball. Over the 10 second line, over to Martinson. Barely over the 10 second line to the Henkel. Henkel guarded by Schmitz. We have a timeout on the floor. Looks like the momentum has switched here a little bit in Ricori's favor. The adults fans are on their feet trying to get this team fired up. 28-26. Sock Rapids with a slim two-point lead here. With 6.05 remain in the third. <laughs> Martinson to inbound for Sock Rapids finds Lee in the backcourt. Back to Martinson to Lee. Ricori in a 2 3. Down to Henkel. Back to Henkel. Lee. To Henkel for three. No good. It's partially blocked by Cohn. Picked up by Van Neville. Down to Schmitz. Down to Dan Hondel. Hondel cross court to the, for the trifecta. Yeah! Kenny on fire, Meyer brings him back. There he goes, Nick. Ricori by one, Henkel with the ball. There he goes. Down to Martinson, Ricori. Must have got a good talking to at the half. They're coming there back, they're up by one point. Rogenic over to Martinson. Back to Martinson, to Lee. There he goes. Over to Henkel. Five minutes remain here in the third. Rogenic out to Lee, over to Martinson. Martinson to Venice. Venice puts it up and in. Venice scoring. Here come the Spartans. Meyer with the ball. Over to Schmidt. Schmidt over to, down to Handel. Handel tries to find Van Neville inside, out of bounds. Ball comes back to the Spartans. Meyer over to Schmitz. Shoot it, Schmitz. 
Pumps her back out to Kenny. Kenny on the wing. Over to Eric. Krohn with the ball to Handel. Handel. Over to Schmidt. Schmidt fakes the three. Drives in. Puts it up. No good. It's short. Rebound by Handel. Dan Hondo with a huge board. Foul is going to be called on number 50. That is Venice, and that is his third personal, team second. Meyer to inbound for the Spartans. Finds Schmitz in the backcourt. <laughs> Kenny to Jason underneath. Van Neville, spin move up and in! Mike Van Neville bringing the Spartans back here in the second half. Big basket by Van Neville giving Ricori a one point lead. It's going to send Van Neville to the line to complete the three point play. <laughs> Venice picking up his fourth personal. Van Neville nails the free throw, 32-30. Ricori by, by a deuce. Mitch Lee with the ball. Drives in the paint, puts it up, no good, rims out. Gets his own rebound, back out to Henkel, to Martinson for three. Martinson hits the three. 33-32, Sock Rapids by one. Schmitz with the ball to Krohn. Krohn losing it, losing the ball to Martinson. Martinson goes up, blocked by Krohn. Hankel gets the rebound, no good. Blocked by Krohn again, but we're going to have a foul called. Foul is on Jason Krohn, that is his second. Good. This is a big free throw. Second one, no good. Rebound down to the Spartans. Krohn with the ball. Over to Schmitz and back to Meyer. Finds Handel. Down low, back out to Kenny for three. Yes! Kenny getting hot here in the third. Kenny shooting that three-pointer. 35-33, Ricori by two. 2.58 remain. Mitch Lee with an air ball out of bounds to Ricori. Here come the Spartans. Schmitty finds Van Neville. Van Neville with a 12-footer. Nice touch by Mike Van Neville. Ricori pressuring the ball. Timeout, Sock Rapids. Two thirty-three remain here in the third. It's Ricori 37. Sock Rapids 33. This is the way we're used to seeing the Spartans play. Here to Little Lee to see if he's got any words so far on the game. Ricori picking it up after being down. 
the whole first half. I think confidence. I think they got their confidence back, and I think that's made a big, a big uh, comeback for them up to this point. What do you think, there, Lee? Yeah, I think Meyer started hitting a few threes. It started opening up the inside. They're moving the ball around a lot better. A lot more confidence. Picking it up on the defensive end. Doc Rapids is a little rattled, and we got ourselves a ball game. Thank you. Good patience is a big thing. Good movement by the Spartans. Mitch Lee with the ball. Back out to Martinson. Inside to Regenic. Back out to Henkel. To Martinson on the wing. Ricori in the 2 3. Inside to Martinson. Martinson drives in. Gets hammered on the arm. Foul is going to be called on. I believe Eric Schmidt. No, number 12 is Handel. That's Danny's first personal. <laughs> Inbound. Knocked out by Ken Meyer. Sock Rapids will try it again. Finds Lee in the backcourt. Back to Martinson to Lee. Sock Rapids giving Ricori all they want. Regenic, no good. We're going to have Eric Schmidt's call for a personal behind the back. Trying to strip the ball. Schmidt gets caught for the personal. <laughs> Scheffler back in for Sock Rapids, replacing. Jeremy New. Lee with the ball over to Henkel. Henkel hitting some big threes the first half to Regenic. Regenic drives in the lane, puts it up. No good. Rebound down to Van Neville. Here come the Spartans. Ricori looking like a different team here in the second half. Good ball movement. Schmitty through the lane down to Van Neville. Van Neville in the paint. Nice move. Puts it up and in. Getting some big, big offense out of Mike Van Neville here. In the second half, Ricori with a six-point lead, their largest lead of the game. Henkel with the ball, guarded by Crohn. Ricori fans are really into this one. Martinson with the ball, back to Lee. Sock Rapids, the go for one shot here, I would I think uh, 45 seconds remain here in the third. They're very being very patient with the ball up on top of the key. Find Scheffler down on the baseline. Scheffler inside to Lee. Lee passes it. Intended for Regenic. It is stripped away by Crone. Ricori's going to have the last shot. This will be huge. Good movement by the Spartans. Ball passed out of bounds. Ball is called at number 12, Handel. 13 seconds remain here in the quarter. Henkel with the ball. We're down to five. Martinson, he'll take it. Over to Lee, we're gonna run out of time. Hanko, no! It rims out, what a quarter it was. The Spartans coming back. Outscoring Sock Rapids, Ricori 39, Sock Rapids 33. What do you think of that, little Lee? Well, I think the Spartans picked it up on the defensive end. The, the players start getting a little more confidence. Start putting a little pressure on the ball. Sock Rapids started getting a little hit, uh, rattled through some bad passes. McCurry hit a few outside shots, got a little more confidence, and I think the Spartans are into the game now, mentally attacking the boards a lot better than they were the first half. And Kenny Meyer also coming back in the third, hitting some big threes to bring us back into the game. You could see when Kenny started hitting them shots, the whole Spartan team started getting lifted up. They were yelling, running down the court. In the first half, they were kind of just jogging down. You watch now, as soon as the Spartans 
Uh, the Star Crabs, I should say, gets a shot, and the Spartans get a rebound. They're sprinting to the other end, getting into their offense, looking at the basket. Some good points there by Lee. We're in the fourth quarter, start of the fourth here. Dickie V and Little Lee up top here calling the game from Ricori High School. Ricori by six. Mitch Lee with the ball over to Henkel. Henkel to Martinson. Martinson turns around, spins it back to Lee. Martin's doing a 1-3-1 one, one now. Trying to keep a little pressure on the ball. Not a throw. Turnover. Sock Rapids. <laughs> Honda with the ball down low to Krohn. Back out to Honda on the baseline. Finds Krohn underneath. Ball is going to be called on number 34, Martinson. That is Martinson's second personal. Looks like the Spartans are going to try to slow it down, run the office, and get some good looks at the basket and get some good shots, good high percentage shots. Good ball movement here by the Spartans. Meyer with the ball over to Hondel. Hondel looking underneath, finds Krohn, top of the key. Schmidt cuts through the paint, finds Van Neville. Van Neville with the ball over to Meyer. Meyer squares up. Yes! Yeah. Kenny drilling it from 17. Ricori starting to open it up here, 41-33. Martins to turn around, he puts it up, no. Sock Rapids has gone cold from the outside. Lee with the ball, puts it up from the free throw line, no good. Finds Regenic underneath, he puts it up, no good. Here come the Spartans, Sock Rapids going ice cold from the outside, the second half of tonight's game. Honda with the ball. He's hit on the arm, ball's taken away. He comes down with Martinson. Martinson gets caught for double the double dribble. Turnover. I think, I think the biggest thing that's happened in here in the second half is the Spartans are coming out playing a lot more intense defensively, and Suck Rapids is getting rattled by the pressure. McCory back with the ball. Handel finds Krohn. We're going to have an official's timeout. Regenic is hurt on the play, down on I think the Hondo ground. Was trying to clear the ball and caught him with an elbow in the nose. Regenic down the head. Looks like he got it in the face all right. Bart Johnson, assistant coach for Sock Rapids. Bart, former alumni here from Ricori, would nothing, nothing he would like better than to come out of here with a victory for Sock Rapids Storm team. It's just a whole different Spartan team out here the second half. I don't know what Bob said down in the locker room. The kids came out a lot more fired up. You could tell it in their eyes when they came out on the court. They were coming back out to do some serious business the second half. More intensity, good ball movement. Finally getting some good offensive rebounds, some good shots. Uh, but their passing's a lot sharper, and I think that's why they're getting a lot better looks at the basket. Uh, and when you get a better look, you know the shots start falling down, you hit one or two, and everybody's confidence starts going. And as soon as one kid starts hitting, everybody starts hitting. And I think they're tough to beat when they're ahead. It's when they're behind that Ricori has a hard time playing. They, they do not like, of course, it hasn't happened much this year where they've had to come from behind. It's... Uh, They've normally had the lead, but the last two games against Brainerd and Wilmer, uh, coming from behind, it's uh, it's been tough. But uh, getting back to the player here on the floor, this Regenic in uh, quite a bit of pain laying on the floor. Uh, it was just an inverted foul. Hondo was trying to clear himself, and he was trying to put a little pressure on the ball and just have him catch an elbow. And part of the game, you hate to see it happen, but... So we have an official's timeout here. 6:21 remain in the game. Ricori by eight points with a 41-33 lead. This is what Ricori needed here is to get a good game in them after two consecutive losses. 
Of course, the first half was not pretty here this evening. Had a lot of fans worried, but uh, the Recorey team did come out the, the second half here and, and looked like the Recorey team that we've seen for 20 games this year. That's right. I think the first half they came out, Vicky, and I think they came out, they were a little tense, a little jittered. I think they knew they weren't playing real well. Uh, after dominating pretty much the, the, the season, they were taking control early in ball games, kind of just coasting through the ends. And, and uh, after the big Alec win, they go, uh, I know they won one after that. I don't remember which one it was. Then they got beaten. So they went from a high, high and a low, low in about a week. And uh, they look like the old Spartan team that we've been watching all season. Still a timeout here on the floor. The head coach for Sock Rapids is down with his player on the floor. Looks like possibly another assistant coach. Yeah, it is. Reminder to you basketball fans out there in Spartanland, the winner of tonight's ball game, hopefully your Recorey Spartans, will be in action this Saturday at Hallenbeck Hall. They will face the winner of the Wilmer Sartell game, which is play, being played tonight in Wilmer. Wilmer was the number two seed, followed by Sartell, the number three seed. Sock Rapids was seeded fourth in the subregion, followed by Little Falls. Ricori was seated number one, and Sock Rapids defeated Little Falls in the opening game of the subsection tournament, eliminating Little Falls for the year. still held up here. Looks like they're putting ice or coal pack over his face. I don't know if he, if he, if the player got it in the nose or in the mouth area. I'm not sure. We cannot see that from where we're at, but the player is definitely in pain. So who knows what this short time out here can do. I mean, the Spartans play an excellent ball for the second half here, but we uh, had about a five minute delay here, and who knows, what, what could this do for the ball game? It might bring Sock Rapids back. It might pump up Recorey even more. We'll find out. Yeah, the Spartans had momentum going with them. They were fired up. They were attacking the basket, excited. This be interesting how they come back out. The fans was in, were in the game at that time. Uh, everybody was on their feet. It was going crazy in here. And, and now it's kind of quiet. Everybody's waiting for the action to get going back and get started again here and finish the game off. Number 50, Noah Venice, comes into the game to replace Regenic. He's got four fouls, Venice does. The Spartans to inbound. Schmitz with the ball, guarded by Hinkle. Down to Krohn. Krohn looking for the cutter, Kenny Meyer. Back out to Kenny. Kenny scores up. Hondel underneath, puts it up. Kenny finds Danny Hondel underneath in the paint. Hondel was wide open down there. There was a misconfusion there, I think, on who was supposed to pick him up. He was down there in the paint, wide open. They had a foul on the stop from scoring. Going to send Danny to the line to shoot two. First one by Disco Dan is up and in. Danny's playing a real good game tonight. He came, he was ready to play once the Spartans got on a roll, and he had a big one right before the half. And the second one by Hondel is up and in. Ricori with a 10-point lead here in the fourth quarter. 
Henkel with the ball to Lee. Down to Venice. Back to Henkel to Lee. To Venice, the sophomore. He finds Scheffler inside. Scheffler puts it up and in. 5.44 remain. Recori by eight. Kenny Meyer with the ball. Hondel cutting across the lane. Finds Schmitz in the far wing. Schmitty looking. Finds Hondel. To Van Neville. Mike Van Neville. Great offensive effort here in the second half of tonight's ball game. Ricori being patient now, just running through their offense, trying to get some good looks at the basket. Danny's going to drive. Kicks her back out to Kenny. Kenny down to Schmitty, back to Kenny. Over to Crone. Back to Meyer. Down to Hondel. Back to Kenny for the trifecta. No! He airs that one out, but Crone! Crone gets the weak side rebound, puts it up and in. Big basket by Crone, picking up the, the air ball by uh, Meyer over on his side. Keeps the Spartans up by 10. Venice with the ball, finds Martins in the free throw line. Nice bounce pass to Scheffler. Uses the glass, nice play by Scheffler. Up and in, 45-37 Spartans. Here come the Spartans back. Hondo puts it up and in. Dan Hondo with a nice 12-footer. Puts the Spartans up by 10. Spartans are going into 1-3-1, and Bob wants to pack it in the middle so they're not getting the easy buckets down low. We have Lee with the ball over to Martinson on the far side. Back to Lee. Back to Lee. Lee drives the lane, puts it up and in. Mitch Lee scoring. We have a timeout on the floor. Eric Martins wants to talk it over for Sock Rapids. 3.44 remain here in the game. It's Ricori, 47, Sock Rapids, 39. I think the Spartans are going to have to start playing a little better interior defense the last three, three times down the court that Sock Rapids scored. All three backs, baskets were made in the paint, so they're trying to penetrate, get down the ball low in the paint, get a higher percentage shot down in there. the timeout with an eight-point lead. Big possession here for Ricori. Basket here could about finish Sock Rapids off. Sock Rapids applying pressure in the backcourt to Schmitz. Pressure Schmitty in the corner. Throw a trap on him. Ricori, Schmitz having a tough time getting out of the trap. Losing the ball out of bounds. Ball comes back to the Spartans. Schmitty with the ball. Back over to Dan Hondel on the wing to Mike Van Neville. Mike losing it. Picks it back up. Over to Schmitty down low. Schmitty brings it back out over to Kenny. Kenny squares up. No good. To Hondel. Hondel fakes. Puts it up underneath it in. Big bucket by Hondel. Big basket by Dan Hondel. Underneath, behind, underneath the basket. Lays it up off the glass and in. Mitch Lee with the ball, Ricori by 10. Venice. Sock Rapids is saying, what happened to us? Spartans are playing a 2-3 now on defense. It went out of the 1-3-1 to try to stop the penetration down the middle of the lane. Martinson with the ball, over two. Oh, 
Martinson with the ball, puts it up. Good. Behold. Jeff Martinson scoring. There was a mistake down there. Danny Hanna was taking the ball out of bounds, and Crone thought he was going to jump out of bounds and take it. At the time Crone was stepping out, Hanna threw in the ball, so he was still standing out of bounds and half inbounds. Turnover Ricori. Sock Rapids only down by eight. 229. This is a big possession for Sock Rapids. Ricori's going to go into a 2 3 here, I think. Still trying to stop the penetration and put some pressure on the ball, so they're not going to get a good look. They're in the 2 3. Hankel hits the three. What a basket. Big bucket. Big bucket by Hankel. 49 44. Ricori by five. Fans are on their feet here at Ricori High School. 2-12 remain in the game. Sock Rapids is going to have to start falling. Ricori is just going to throw the ball around, I think, trying to get some good looks. They want a timeout. Coach Brink wants to talk it over. 159 remain here in the game. I'm sure Ricori, Coach Brink will tell his players to run through the offense. I think be patient and try to get a good look at the basket and uh, hopefully get fouled. Yeah, I think Sock Rapids is going to come out with a tight man and the man. They're going to uh, try to follow the Spartans right away. Put send pressure on the ball. Yeah, and then try to send the Spartans to the line, hope that they miss a few of their free throws. And uh, they can come down and score some big buckets and get them right back in it. There's still 159 left, which is a lot of time. Ricori to inbound. Crone unable to find anybody on the on the throw-in. Decides to call a timeout instead of having the ball turned over to Sock Rapids. I tell you, the Spartans were really intense. Things were bad. People, the crowd were in it, yelling and screaming, really fired up. And when the, after the Sock Rapids player got hurt, the uh, the momentum kind of died, and the Spartans are. Uh, I kind of just sit and lay it back right now and uh, mentally not in it like they were before the Sock Rapids player got hurt. But Ricori really coming back in the third quarter of tonight's ball game just took the game completely over and dominated the third and half of the fourth quarter here. Really looked like the machine that we've been used to seeing all year long. Yeah, they played a real good th third quarter. Like I said, I don't know what Bob said in the locker room. He did get the kids fired up. They played really well. And uh, they can just finish this one off. They're sitting good right now. They're good free throw shooters. They just got to get mentally get back in her and uh, play it like they know how. Kenny Meyer with the ball down to Crone. Jason, pressure put on the ball over to Schmitz. We're going to have a reaching foul by Brian Henkel. That's going to be Sock Rapids' sixth team foul. Does not put Ricori in the bonus as of yet. They have one to give. Schmitz with the ball. Gets through it. Oh, almost losing the ball. Crone with the ball. Over to Van Neville. Get it back to my. There you go. Over to Crone. Over to Meyer. Kenny Meyer. Sock Rapids applying big time big pressure. Big time pressure. You bet they were. They're just trying to knock the Ra ball loose. Right Ricori now. runs 30 seconds off the clock in that. Short time spans. Eric's going to go to the free throw line. He's going to be shooting one and one here. It's Sock Rapids, seven steam ball. So Schmidt at the line to shoot. First one by Eric is up and in. Big. Big free throw there for Schmidt. Schmitz is a good free throw shooter. He has been all year, made some clutch free, throw, free throws throughout the year. That's why you want to get the ball in his hands at the end here like that. I believe Eric is about an 80% free throw shooter for the Spartans on the year. The second one is good. Two big ones by Eric Schmitz, and he gets in on the, on the pass in. Eric breaks it up, taps it out of bounds. I thought he was going to get possession of it. It goes back to Sock Rapids. Martinson with the ball to Venice. Back to Martinson. We're down to 126 in this game. Timeout. Henkel calls a timeout. 121 remain. 
Ricori 51, Sock Rapids 44. That's right, Dickie, the Sock Rapids isn't gonna just lay down and die. They're gonna play the last 121. This is their season. If they uh, lose here, it's over. They gotta go home and watch everybody else play the rest of the year. So they're not just gonna give it up and die either. And Sock Rapids starting uh, tonight, uh, I believe four seniors and the one sophomore uh, to in tonight's game. So they've got a trio of seniors that will be done for the year also. Jeff Martinson, nice looking ball player for Sock Rapids. Sock Rapids playing an awful good game tonight. I think they were uh, really up for us. Seems like all these teams are up for us every night we play them. Nice pass underneath. Pipecorn scoring for Sock Rapids. Crone finds Meyer in the middle. Kenny with the ball. Back out to Schmitz, trying to run that clock down. Back to Kenny, it's tapped away. You can hear it all Pipecorn. You could hear that hit all the way up here. He hit him in back the hand. I just, the ref was out of position and missed the call. Crone to inbound on the far side. To Dan Handel. Doubled up. Handel's double up down low. Gets fouled. It's going to send Danny to the line to shoot one and one. Danny's also a real good free throw. The Spartans whole team shoots free throws really well. Right now they want to kind of keep the balls in the shoot, the ball in the shooter's hand, send them to the free throws and to the free throw line and hope they hit their one and ones and the Spartans will bring this one home. Danny connects on the first free throw. Ricori with a six point lead. Hondel hitting the second one. 50 seconds remain in the game. Ricori will move on. Ricori is back on a one game winning streak. Martinson missing from the far baseline. Venice with the board underneath, puts it up. No good, rebound down to Krohn. To Dan Hondel, Danny Hondel back to Schmidt. This one is over. Ricori will move on. They will play at Helen Beck Hall Saturday against the Wilmer Sartell winner. They are playing this evening. At this time, we do not know the outcome of the Wilmer Sartell game. Kenny Meyer! Kenny Charles! Meyer down low! Hit the big bucket! He's over! This one is over from McCurry. McCurry coming out of here with the big win. The final score here from Ricori High School. I would like to mention one more time, the seniors last game played here at Ricori High School was Eric Schmidt, Danny Handel, Kenny Meyer, reserves of Ethan Hash, and we also had Brian Dingman, Jim Willenbring and Eddie Scher, our seniors, our leaders throughout the year, are finished with their basketball careers here at Ricori. But hopefully, we've got five or six go games to go. We just got word that Sartell did beat Wilmer tonight, so Ricori will play Sartell Saturday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon at Hallenbeck. I'm sure tickets will probably go on sale. I don't know if they will go on sale here at Ricori or if you can just pick them up at Hallenbeck. Dickie, I think this was a good game for the Spartans coming off two losses. Uh, everybody was curious. You could feel the intensity in the gym when the, before the game started. Uh, everybody was wondering what team was going to show up tonight. All at once, the Spartans did start a little slow. I think Sock Rapids was awful fired up. They thought they had a chance to, to upset the Spartans and uh, stuck with us the first half. Hondo hit a big shot right before the halftime. I think bring us with him was it eight, something like that. And uh, they went down with a little more confidence going into the 
Uh, at halftime, I don't know what Bob said to them at halftime. They came out. They were a whole different team. It's like you said, Dickie. They, the Spartans totally dominated the third quarter. Uh, sharp pass and hit the boards. Meyer hit a few outside shots that opened up the inside for some of the bigger guys down low and uh, pretty much took over the ball game from there. It was definitely a second half team effort by the Spartans tonight. I mean, what a machine. The machine that uh, they were hitting on all eight cylinders tonight in the second half. So anyway, that should do it here from Recori High School. The final score once again is Recori 55 and Sock Rapids 46 for Dana Schmitz on the camera. And my sidekick, Little Lee, I'm Dickie V, saying goodnight.